AC. Ooh. I thought we didn't have AC. That's so good. So we are all settled into our hotel here in Venice and it actually turned out to be a lot nicer than we thought. We were a little bit worried to be honest because it was really cheap. Now we're just gonna explore Venice a little bit. We don't have pretty much anything planned. We did basically no planning. So we're just gonna wander around, explore the streets and maybe get some good food. Mark Square is super cool and it's really really big but it is so so hot right now we need to go get something to drink <laughs> oh, it is a hot one today Hopefully it cools down a little bit later on. It was nice having that little break, but it is still way, way too hot out here. So I think we're gonna head back to our hotel to just kind of chill for a bit and come back out. Maybe after the sun is starting to go down. We found the perfect place to escape the heat. We're here in the grocery store. Plus we can get some snacks, maybe some drinks chill in our hotel where we have AC for the next little while and then go for some dinner later. Yes. If you ever want wine but you don't want to buy a bottle, you can get these trail package. They're so cute. And so cheap. I know. 1.55 euro. I gotta get one. We can get four actually. Three hours later. The temperature has finally dropped a little bit. And I also changed into my shorts. So we're ready to explore a little bit more. Time to find some food. So right now we are on the famous Rialto Bridge and the view from here is beautiful. know in Venice is that you'll get lost a lot. There's a lot of dead ends everywhere. Yep. And every so often you just start walking and then there's just uh, the water. Mm -hmm. And you can't go any further. Mm -hmm. Also, ducks. We have seen this duck store in every city in Europe that we've been to and we don't understand why it's so popular. It's a bunch of weird rubber ducks in different outfits. What the duck? What the duck? Hey, that was my joke. <laughs> We are here once again in St. Mark's Square. It's much cooler now and there's live music in, on the plaza, mm -hmm. people walking around. It's such a great vibe. Yeah, super lively. We are loving Venice. Now we're just gonna find a cool place to sit, maybe have some spritz. So we're just ending our night here off with some Aperol spritz and then we're gonna head back to our hotel. It was a great first day in Venice and we've got a whole nother day tomorrow to explore. See you guys tomorrow. Today we are leaving the main island of Venice to head to some of the smaller islands, starting with Murano and Verano. We're 
we're on our first water bus. So if you are a type of person that often gets car sick, make sure you have a seat. We're gonna walk around this lovely city for a little bit, so hopefully I recover. So the island of Murano is known for its like glass workshops. So every store is like a glass store which is kind of cool. And they also have like a glass museum, but it's like 10 euros to go in, so I don't think we're gonna go to the glass museum. All of the glass shops are super impressive, but unfortunately we can't really show you because most shops have... The no photo sign. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which, I mean, makes sense, mm -hmm. but it's too bad. You'll just have to come here and check it out for yourself. Mm -hmm. Murano is really cool, especially if you are into like glassware. It's super, super nice. Uh, there's like, I don't know, like probably like a hundred shops I feel like that sell it. But now we are all done with Murano and I think we're gonna head to the next island, which is Purano. Purano. With a B. We have made it to Brano. The ferry was ferry? Bus? Water bus? The water bus. Water bus. The water bus was very warm. Yes. I would recommend standing outside in the water bus and not going to the seating inside. Unless you are seasick like me. Yeah, if you're seasick like Sandy, then sitting's probably better. But we're in Verano now and it's very beautiful. The houses are so colorful. You know how the color is so cool. Yeah. We're just taking a quick break here in Verano because although it is super beautiful outside, it is also crazy hot outside. So we're just stopping in for some drinks and for some food. I'm excited for my squid ink pasta. Oh, is that what you got? Squid ink? Mm -hmm. mm -mm. This is pretty cool. The calzone is really good, but I think for me personally, I'd rather have pizza than calzone. I think there's just not enough sauce, but it's still very good. It was really good, but now I need to figure out how to clean this up. That meal was super good and so satisfying and now it's time to go and explore Burano some more. So we're supposed to be exploring the town and looking at all the cool looking houses that are so colorful, like these ones behind me. But um, there's also a lot of dress shops here so every time I look over, Sandy just walks into another dress shop. It's very pretty, it's very picturesque, and it's super colorful. Does it give you Lisbon vibes? It is kind of like Lisbon, except less hilly, but lots of colorful places just like Lisbon. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And still it's very hot though. water. It is.
We are officially melting, so we are heading back to our Airbnb. It is super packed. I don't know if we're gonna make it. <laughs> we'll try. We unfortunately didn't make the cutoff, but thankfully we're in the building at least, so it's shady in here. So it's slightly less hot. Still burning hot, but slightly less hot. Next water bus leaves in 25 minutes. Later that night. The temperature has started to cool, so we are heading back out and it's time for some food because we are starving and it is our last day here in Italy. So you know we gotta get some good food. All right, we found a place to eat. Unfortunately, everything is full outside, but they have a table available inside and the place looks really good, so I'll do anything for food. I'll sit inside for food. This place is super, super busy, but thankfully we got our wine, we ordered our food, and we're just excited to eat. So we just got our food and it looks seriously amazing. Sandy got this like seafood pasta dish and I didn't actually know what I was ordering because the menu was in Italian and Google Translate was not cooperating. But basically I got a giant plate of this fried seafood and it looks so good. So I'm so excited. That meal was the perfect way to end our night here in Venice. It was so delicious, probably the best meal that I had in all of Italy. We're definitely gonna leave a link down below in the description for the place that we went to tonight. Not only was it the perfect way to end our night here, it was the perfect way to end our trip here in Venice because tomorrow we are heading to Ljubljana in Slovenia. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you aren't already and ring the bell so you're notified when we post our videos in Slovenia. We'll see you guys tomorrow.